dear students uh, welcome to nuclear physics lecture i'm dr prabhu ahmed uh in today's lecture we will talk about uh, pi meson and uh, their properties so let's start our lecture with pi meson and uh, their properties uh a pi meson uh, short for uh, pi meson denoted with the pi is any of the three subatomic uh, particles uh let me repeat it again a pi on a uh, short for pi meson uh, denoted with pi is any of the three subatomic uh, particles that is pi not pi positive and pi negative so pi ions or pi mesons are the lightest mesons and they play an important role in explaining the law energy properties of the strong nuclear force so uh pions are uh, basically uh, bosons uh, with a zero spin and they are composed of first generation quarks i mean uh, you know that last time uh, we have uh, explained uh, that what is mean by uh first generation of quarks in last lecture if you people remember we have discussed uh, different generations of the quarks so uh pions uh, uh pions are basically the bosons with a zero spin and they belong uh, are they are being composed of first generations of uh, the quarks uh in the quarks models uh in up quarks and in anti down quarks uh, make up uh, a uh pi uh, positive uh, that is uh, i mean we have this combination of up quarks plus anti down quarks uh, when these two they are being combined uh, so that leads to uh, pi uh, positive uh, similarly uh, a down quarks and an anti up quarks uh, make up uh, the pi negative that is i mean we can write it in a form of equation like uh down quarks plus uh anti up quarks and that leads to uh pi negative so uh the uncharged pions are combination of an up quarks with an anti up quarks or a down quarks with an anti down quark this this like just like you can see here in the form of equation that is uh up quarks plus anti up quarks that will lead to the neutral uh, neutral pion similarly uh, uh, down quarks plus anti down quarks that will lead to uh, pi not or pi neutral so uh, i mean it's in short uh, i will summarize uh, i mean the the formation of the uh, uh, positive pions or negative pions that is if we combine uh, up quarks with anti down quarks so it lead to the, the formation of the uh, positive uh, pion similarly if we uh, combine uh, down quarks with anti up quarks so that lead to the formation of the negative pion but if you are interested in making our formations of the uh, neutral pions so for that we have to combine the so up quarks uh, with anti up quarks or we have to combine down quarks with anti down quarks so that will lead to the formation of uh, neutral pions uh the charged uh, uh, pions or the charged uh, mesons have a mass of uh, 139.6 mega electron volt uh, per c square Uh, and a life of 2.6 and 10 raised to mar, uh, 10 raised to power minus 8 seconds uh they decay uh they de uh their decay is due to the the weak interaction i mean the decay of the uh, charged meson is uh, due to uh, weak interactions uh the primary decay moves are Uh, the primary decay moves are uh, that is uh, pi not uh, where when the neutral uh, pion they decay so they uh, decay we have uh, weak interactions so uh, the primary decay process can be represented like uh, i mean shown in this particular equations so here we have for the 
for the neutral freon so the neutral freon decay into uh, uh, electrons uh, and positron pair along with that uh, gamma is the photon so the mass uh, the mass uh, base uh, means uh, uh, process the, the mass of the uh, neutral freon is equal to uh, 2 uh, 64 times the mass of the electron which is equal to 135 uh, point zero mega electron volt uh, per c square uh, similarly if we, uh, we, if we write the process the decay process or the decay mode for uh, the charge uh, uh, for the charge uh, beyond so it can be shown like this the charge beyond decay uh, we have beyonds uh, plus uh, neutrinos so their mass again the mass is equal to 270 uh, 3 times the mass of the electrons which is equal to uh, an energy in, uh, in units of energy uh, is equal to 139.6 mega electron volt uh, per c square so uh, the phi naught uh, or the neutral mesons has a slightly smaller mass of uh, 135.0 mega electron volt per c square and a much shorter mean lifetime of 8.4 in the tenders to power minus uh, 17 uh, seconds. Uh, this pion decay uh, decays an electromagnetic process. So uh, the main decay mode uh, with probability uh, 0 0.98798 uh, is into uh, two photons. That is, uh, pi naught has been decayed to. Uh, Two gamma rays uh, photons. I mean, this is the difference between the the charge uh, of ions and the uh, neutrals of uh, ions. Uh, it's the second most uh, common decay mode uh, with a probability uh, 0 0.01198 uh, is the, uh, is into a photon and into electron positron pair, uh, which we can represent here. Uh, that is. Uh, neutral pions that lead to gamma rays plus electron positron uh, pair. So this is how the neutral pions uh, decay. So that's all we have for uh, the properties of the uh, pions or uh, uh, mesons. Uh, so see you in next lecture uh, with more discussion in nuclear physics. So tell them bye bye.